So yeah, <clears throat> hello. My name is Trina, I'm a medical cannabis patient. I partake of cannabis on a regular basis for PTSD, arthritis in both my knees and ankles, social anxiety, and a few more things, a few more conditions you can learn more about through watching the previous shows on this channel. This is the Productive Cannabis Connoisseur, a channel dedicated to medical cannabis patients and adults 18 and over. So hello, I wanted to just bring to you a video. I just got out of the shower. <laughs> I've been outside working on art for uh, for hours. I was working on those stash jars <clears throat> that showed you guys recently and they're gonna be uh, included in the art giveaway after I reach over 720 subscribers. So yeah, I just thought I'd uh, chill out. It's the evening time. I'm recording on my phone. As you can probably tell, my shirt's wet because I just got out of the shower, like I said. Just cleanse my dreads. Um, I've got a joint around here somewhere and i got to figure out how to position this phone so it doesn't fall down. New dilemmas. New era. <laughs> so we'll see. Maybe I could put it, pop it up here. This is my last resort, is it? Does that work? That won't work. <laughs> oh my goodness. Doing videos on a phone. <laughs> it's not bad. It's just trying to figure out how to. Maybe if I put it in between my legs and I can smoke and you guys can see. Let's see. I'll find my lighter first. Hope you guys are having a good evening, morning, or afternoon. It's the evening time for me. I think it's about, I'm guessing it's about 6 or something like that. <clears throat> and I'm feeling really tired because I was out in the sun for hours. Out in the heat, at least. Not direct sun, but out in the heat for hours. California, weather got really hot. It's finally cooling down. But yeah, it gets hot here during the summertime. If you like heat, yeah. You'll like it in the summer here. <laughs> so I'm just going to chill out for a little bit and have the smoke session. And so, like, prepare myself for making dinner in a bit. So. Um, uh, see what I have here. Let me show you the the nug of what I'm smoking. I just put I'll put it over here. <laughs> so here we go. Oh yeah, that's right. This is a um, this is a lavender kush here. That's what I use to wrap uh, <clears throat> the joints that I'm smoking, or one joint. I don't think I'm gonna smoke more than one on this show right now. I'm in my front my front porch, so. I don't want to be too obvious, but it's like it doesn't, nobody can do anything to you really. The way the laws are right now, you can smoke a joint outside on your porch and you'll be fine. As long as I'm not lighting up in front of an elementary school or something, or a park. So, cheers everyone. <laughs> Get my hair out of the way. Most people will automatically assume that someone that uh, smokes cannabis every day would be smoking a lot. But when I was working on the art, uh, before I started working on the jars, <clears throat> I just smoked one joint. And then I started working. And it was working for like, I think at least five hours straight. And I didn't take a break in between. So. Let's see. But yeah, after I was done, I definitely smoked a joint and took a nice long shower because I was messing with, um, I was using uh, metallic nail enamels to do like a fin like a cool finish on the jars. Uh, yeah, it looks really cool. Maybe I'll take you in there and see it. Uh, but I think I might want to just save that for another day for tomorrow because I'm really, really tired and I just wanted to sit here and chill and have a joint and have a smoke session with you guys and see how you guys are doing. There's a lot of new subscribers that I noticed are growers, which is really cool. I've been checking out uh, some of the growing videos. I really enjoy that. Um, yeah, I can't remember the name of that one in particular I've been watching a lot of recently. Rhythm retaliation or something like that. 
I can't remember the complete name of the channel, but I did mention your channel. It's really cool. It really gets right to it, talks about the plants and the process of it. And yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry, my words may not be coming out very articulate. I'm, as you can see by my eyes, are barely open. I'm kind of sleepy, <laughs> filling the day. So yeah, I've been enjoying looking at a lot of the grow videos. I enjoy grow videos. Even if it's just little small plants, I like that too, seeing the process of them grow. Oh my gosh, this is good. So yeah, um, <clears throat> yeah, as I've said before, thanks for being patient with me with using a phone instead of a regular um, <coughs> camera. Still looking, still looking. So it's a wonderfully nice evening. Let's see if you guys want to go with me into my front yard. It's really nice. We've been watering the lawn like, oh my God, consistently because it's so, so, so dry here. And you could tell, I don't know if you can tell by my face, my face is really dry. It's an indication of the type of climate we got going on here twirling around here here I am yeah it's pretty quiet it's pretty like cloudy too so over there right there that that tree there that's where the uh, that's where the owls nest with their family that tree right there the palm tree so at night <laughs> It gets pretty active around here. Um, this is the longest set. Uh, yeah, the palm tree right above my head. <laughs> this is a, it gets really loud at night because you can hear the screeching of the owls because they're like feeding. And they feed on uh, the rats or mice they find around here. Yeah, and I've seen them pick, swoop up. Uh, what was it they swooped up? He swooped up some bird, little bird, and it came right an owl, right? It came right in front of my face. <laughs> so yeah, this is where the um, where that um, rosemary bush is. See right here. Here we go. Rosemary bush. We'll stand in front of it. See the rosemary bush back there. That's what I like to use for my uh, my hair rinses for my rosemary hair rinse, but. It's gone down so low because um, because we don't own this home we're renting. So when my landlord comes by, he does a lot of landscaping. I mean, unnecessary landscaping. So he hacked the crap out of our rosemary bush. But we really don't have any complaint that we can bring to court or anything like that because once it's planted into his property, then it's still, it's no longer really ours, I think. unfortunately and we we planted some things quite a few things up front we planted um, two lavender plants which got mowed over one of them at least got mowed over let's see if I can show you this right here this is like the end of the lavender plant this right can't even see it really it's all dried up but yeah we had we had that going on but he gets into these moods like and he just comes he has to come and repair something here then not only does he try to repair things he feels like he has to landscape the, the fuck out of the house it's ridiculous um i am i am way beyond done with renting to tell you the truth <clears throat> I've been watching some videos on YouTube uh, recently, which I have before, but even more recently, about how to purchase land, how to save up for land, yada yada. You know what I mean? I'm going to sit back down here. <laughs> Maybe I should just sit in the grass because <laughs> it's brighter. You can see better, and there's more greenery going on. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. I'm going to grab my drink. 
going out here. So yeah, taking the doing the videos on this phone's not too bad. I just didn't know if I would be used to it. Uh, we got neighbors coming out. I think I wanna not go out there and cause a commotion. We'll just stay over here. I just don't wanna cause anything. Okay, let's go. Let's go inside. Take this inside and then down to the back where it's a little bit more intimate and quiet. Because I know one thing is going to get noisy in just a bit. Trust me on that. <laughs> I just know. I just know these things. I just know these things. Here we go. Let's go on inside. Take it indoors and then outdoors again. <laughs> Ooh, air conditioner's on. It's getting noisy outside. Now I gotta go to the other part of the outside, which is the back. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, we're back. We're back somewhere where it's a little more secluded and not as noisy. <laughs> It's usually when I think that it's going to be totally chill and quiet. That's when the noise level picks up. <laughs> so yeah. Let's kick it over here by my um, little spot here. Or should I? No. I think I'll bring you guys with me over to the other spot. <clears throat> Let's go somewhere else. Oh, I can grab my, grab my bag. You're on an adventure with me in my backyard. Isn't it fun? <laughs> oh, okay, we made it. We made it to our destination. Ah, oh, the almond tree, the beautiful almond tree. Let me do something first. I want to move this. Move this. See, it's all about setting. I'm going to move this white chair out of the way. It's kind of distracting to me. I'm going to just splash my face with some hair that's hanging off, some water that's hanging off my dreads. Okay, here we are, comfy and cozy. Hello. Yeah, it's really cloudy right now. It looks like it's gonna totally rain. Uh, how can I position it to where you can see the sky? What if I push this arrow? 